In this lesson, I'm going to discuss the anatomy of a tooth. Now, in this video, I have a cross-sectional diagram of the tooth, um, and I do need to add a few things in. I'm going to start out in blue, and I'm going to add in the enamel layer. And I'm going to make it very thick, and I'm going to stop the enamel layer about here, and I'm going to come down with purple, and I'm going to draw another layer that's very thin that sits in the deeper part called cementium. And so this would be the outermost layers, the enamel layer on the outer side and the top, and then the layer of cementium here on the bottom in what we call the root. And I will go back over the the layers here later. Now I'm just kind of neaten it up a little bit because the iPad is very difficult to color in these areas. Here we have cementium. So enamel and cementium. Now inside of here we would come under and we use green we would have an area, and just to make it simple, I'm going to show you the pulp cavity. The pulp cavity would be in the middle, or very deep. And surrounding this pulp cavity, using orange, I have a layer of dentin. So the dentin is inside of here. This pulp cavity is inside of here. And those are the three major layers. Now, if we come at the bottom of each tooth, there's a hole in the bottom called an apical foramen. And the apical foramen forms a tube called the root canal. And the root canal goes into the pulp cavity where blood vessels and nerves would be. Now, just to give you guys an idea, now in class, of course, this would be a little bit neater and easier to be drawn onto the board, but I want to clear in these just a little bit with this. Just at the end here where our cementium comes up, I'm going to use red, because gums are usually kind of reddish, and I'm going to draw the gingiva. Move just a little bit here. Let's draw the gingiva or the gum. Now you guys will call it gingiva in the Human Anatomy 2 lab. Gingiva. Now coming in from the gingiva, of course we have the alveolar bone and we don't really care about that at this point. But what we do care about, and I'm going to have to use gray to pick this, is a substance called the periodontal ligament. And the periodontal ligament will anchor the tooth in, and it's between the gum and the tooth. So it's on the outside of the tooth there, coming up against the cementium, periodontal ligament. Now, the area here I'm going to use in black. Now, above here, at the above the gum, I have the crown. Here, I have the neck. And the area below my gum is my root, hence root canal. And the root canal moves, or the apical frame in the root canal moves up into here. Of course, things are neural aspects and everything inside of here. So I'm going to cover that back up with my pulp cavity, it has blood vessels, and nerves, and all that good stuff. And that's where it comes, actually comes into the root canal, brings up from the root, everything below the gums, the neck at the gum, and the crown above. Now, of course, this is neater in the lab, but I hope you guys um, find these little drawings and sketches helpful. But I do expect you guys to do these as helpful things, but of course, you, these are not part of your grade. But this concludes my video on the anatomy of a tooth. Thank you.